internet what's up my peeps in this two-part series i'll be showing you how i painted and then slightly modified two nerf dart fire guns for my niece and nephew please enjoy I masked off the parts that were supposed to stay black and then I painted the quote unquote lights white to provide a better base for the top color. I lost the footage of me painting the body of the guns. I started with a dark metallic grey and then I dusted a lighter metallic grey on top of that.
This black isn't the same black as I used to paint this entire thing. This is from a, a rattle can. I'm not really sure which one of the ones I uh, usually buy. So I'm gonna try and just touch it up with this jet black. Since I'll be distressing, I think the word is these, with a lot of grime and stuff, I'm hoping that this won't be too noticeable, but uh, yeah, we'll see. same technique as on the barrel, I'm not really sure, and the handle, because I'm not that good with the paintbrush, or sorry, an airbrush, to not get purple all over the white. The yellow, probably I could get away with, um, but not up here, but I'm not really sure the effect is working as intended anyhow, so I'll just skip that. I'll touch this up with a bit of black later on when I have everything masked, unmasked. <laughs> to see if I need black paint on more parts because it's unnecessary to load the airbrush up with paint then clean out the black and then reload it with black just to paint another part. part of the grip I want to make sure it stands out from the rest of the gun because it's a different material. I'll start with a base of jet black and then we'll see if I perhaps... yeah we'll see I'll, I'll, I might use these two accent colors but I'll, I'll put on a sort of a base coat with this, this black one. We'll go with this. I didn't prime the green one or coat the, the base layer with white hoping that the green would be strong enough to coat the, the black or the grayish uh, background but as you can see compared to this one this is a much more vibrant color so uh, I'll see how this pans out I might keep it that way probably not so I'm, I'm gonna keep this as is and then I'm gonna paint uh, the barrel 
but base that with white and see if that uh, what kind of difference that make. This thing is a royal pain in the ass to uh, mask off. I probably could have done a better job. This is good enough. I think I spent 30 minutes or, or something like that masking this off. Since this is completely more stuffed, I realized I could use just a rattle can to spray this down and, and not waste my expensive airbrush paint and uh, go through the trouble to, uh, of cleaning my airbrush afterwards. As soon as I got outside and started painting, it also started pouring down, which you may or may not be able to hear. So I got a bit more paint on this than I, uh, I had hoped. I, I sort of panicked and, and painted it as fast as I could. There are a couple of imperfections in the, in the paint. I think those are water droplets. Personally, I think this is a lot richer. It's a lot, uh, it's a lot more green. This one is, for obvious reasons, a bit more subdued, or call it what you want. And you can see this texture or this pattern through. This still isn't perfect. I, I screwed up at times with the coverage. Yeah, I would argue that this is the, the way to go. So I'm gonna use the same spray paint, the rattle can I used for this. But then I'm going to need to mask this completely because otherwise... Since I'm not a complete lunatic, I use some old masking paper to take care of the, the rest of this because all the details have already been done. And this is the purple one I'm gonna do because it also needs a white background or a white primer. I'm guessing this part should be black. It, it's meant to butt up against another part of the gun, but since it's rotating, it's not exactly flush with that part. So I'm, I'm gonna, just gonna mask this, this off real quick and then rattle can this black while I wait for the other stuff to dry. This one turned out okay. The difference between this and the jet black part is uh, subtle, but it's uh, Enough for me to actually try and replicate the effect up here. This, there's a texture to this as well. I'll have to double check on the other part, on the other side, how much this is. Um, but I'm, I'm thinking of doing something with this. So I'm going to mask this part off and, and get to that. And also I removed the masking tape on these. This one turned out okay, this one not so great, but never mind. Now I need to mask this area off. This is to be painted green, and these sections are to be white. Which means that I'll mask everything off, paint everything white, the parts that are left unmasked. And then mask this off, and uh, no, mask this off, and paint this green. And this is fiddly as hell. So I won't be filming that. The, the downside to a rattle can is that it adds a lot of paint really quickly. Now, I, I wasn't really planning to do anything with these, but they are just a solid chunk of black. And that's not really sexy. Um, these will be the same color lights as the rest of the gun. And I'm thinking about maybe doing something with this part, I'm not really sure. I want to do something with this. Maybe these two. I'm not really sure how good that's gonna be because this is a really difficult texture to mask on. Just to give you an idea, this is the amount of masking tape I used for this.
As you can see, my masking tape didn't stick as well as, as it should. So I have a lot of white and some green leak through. I'll do my best to try and remove this first by scraping with a sharp modeling knife. And if that doesn't work, I'll do my best to try with some spirits and a, and a Q-tip. As expected, the only type of thinner or solvent that would take care of this also takes care of the original paint or the base layer, as you can see. While scraping, I, as expected, just managed to scrape down through to the original plastic. This is the white one. So I'm not really sure what to do about uh, this mask this section off and just add some gunmetal gray or something <laughs> I found some grey primer, which will work just as, just as well, because I'm going to do this gunmetal grey. And then I also decided to give the rest of this part uh, a primer. Here's my plan. I've masked off uh, the green lights, and then I just, just to be on the safe side, I masked off a bit here. I'm going to do my best to be as precise as possible with the airbrush, and get black roughly only where there is white and green right now because this is black with silver speckle of silver on top so i'm hoping that by adding a light amount of black and then silver on top of that i just want it to be better than this because this is just uh, it'll it'll ruin the entire illusion because if this is here nobody will believe that this is a pirate space gun this will ruin the illusion This wasn't really the effect I was going for, 
But again, it was a good opportunity to practice with my airbrushing skills. I'll let this dry and then I'll try and come back and put some more green in here. And then I'll just use my dry brushing and my brown washing to try and hide the fact that this is a much brighter paint on this part of the gun. So <coughs> after drying, I I was going to call this actual garbage, but I'm, I think I'm going to upgrade it to pure crap. It's clearly a di completely different tone from the rest of the, the gun. So what I think I'll do is I'll just mask these off and then go back with some black and silver from a high dis distance like I did with the original and hopefully that'll sort of s smoothen things out or blend it if you wish. Then that, then it'll be good enough because I can't spend the rest of the the year fixing this mistake. Just learn from it and, and uh, move on. So here's the end result. It's good enough. Perhaps there should be a bit more black in here. Yeah, yeah I'm actually gonna go in and add a bit more black. Uh, still not the same. But again, this is good enough. Let's stop tinkering with it. I removed the tape from the other parts I've been painting. This one is as done as it gets before the dry brushing and the brown washing. This is an unfortunate side effect of masking the way I did, so yeah. Never mind, it's gonna get uh, pretty heavily dry brushed over here, I think so. This one, I think that it's a bit brighter than that. But again, I'm not too worried. It's a toy gun. And no, these two don't go on the same weapon, of course. I mean, green and purple obviously aren't compatible. Everybody knows that. And I'm talking space pirate energy weapons. Otherwise, green and purple actually work really well together. But for space pirate weapons, no can do. So this is the base color I used for these. So I just sprayed a bit into the cap it's really hard to see because it's black on black and this is a really cheap paintbrush but it should be able to do this properly i hope uh, since this is spray paint it's really thin so we'll see uh, how well it covers this up well it did a really decent job oh there's another Again, these details, no one will ever see them. And while I'm here, let's see how precise this paintbrush is. Because it's all the paintbrush, nothing to do with me. I'm really tempted to just keep on painting this but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna screw something up if I keep doing that so I'm gonna call this done this is really horrible um, I think this plastic it's a different type of plastic it's a bit more oily I would want to say which makes the Makes it even harder for the paint to stick. 
I'll do my best to get in there with the paintbrush and uh, it's the same on this side and also up here turned out a lot better than I thought it would. I masked off from here and down and from here and up and there isn't really that much difference. I mean if you look at this part and then this part there's a bit more black in this perhaps and this is a bit Shinier. This is a rougher surface for some reason. I got the result I wanted. The overspray is hopefully going to simulate the glow better than the stuff I did when I masked this off and then sprayed over the masking afterwards. So I'm gonna actually try and airbrush these yellow. that trying to paint only these lights is way above my skill level so uh, in order to get any sort of even coverage of yellow on these I just yeah painted all over them 